Uh, to measure the electric and magnetic fields, which are critical to understanding reconnection, MMS on four identical spacecrafts is a symbol uh, what is probably the most comprehensive and accurate collection of magnetic and electric field sensors ever flown in space. The, uh, the uh, uh, spacecraft uh, is about three meters in diameter, as seen here. It's covered with solar cells uh, uh, around its uh, belly band. It has uh, a whole collection of booms uh, that extend these sensors out from the spacecraft to get away from spacecraft noise and interference. Uh, the two black uh, booms are larger booms, uh, uh, larger because they need to be more stable. Uh, the magnetometer booms, there are uh, two redundant, uh, what we call fluxgate magnetometers that measure the DC magnetic field. They are complicated, uh, complemented with a uh, uh, search coil magnetometer, which is essentially coils of wire that measure the AC magnetic field. These are combined together on MMS to provide a high frequency, high fidelity magnetic field signature of the reconnection regions. Uh, they're calibrated with this uh, uh, instrument called the electron drift instrument, which uses a very thin beam of electrons to probe out from the spacecraft and determine the magnetic field away from the spacecraft to an accurate, uh, uh, accurate percentage. And, and all four of those uh, magnetometers work together to provide our magnetic field. One of the challenges that we've never really uh, accomplished uh, in spacecraft is to measure a three-dimensional electric field, the full electric field vector. And that's because you need very large booms uh, to measure the electric field. Uh, these uh, very thin wire booms are 60 meters in radius, so there's about 120 meters tip to tip. Uh, that's a good football field uh, between this uh, spherical probe and that spherical probe out in spacecraft, out in space, and there are four of these that lie in the spin plane, that is in the plane uh, that the spacecraft is spinning. Uh, the spacecraft spins at about uh, three revolutions per minute. Uh, that means it takes 20 seconds to go a full revolution, and in doing so, these electric field probes me uh, uh, measure the entire three-dimensional electric field uh, instantaneously at any point in that spin. In order to do that, we have to have also a measurement along the axis of the spacecraft. And this is a, a real challenge because we can remove offsets from the, the probes that are in the spin plane uh, because they're spinning. We can uh, uh, calibrate their offsets. It's far more difficult with the one that's along the axis. The whole spacecraft has been optimized for uh, to remove uh, subsidiary uh, errors, subsidiary errors that occur because the sun shines on the spacecraft from one direction and introduces electrostatic perturbations that affect these booms. Uh, and that uh, has been optimized so that the uh, axial boom measurement can be accurate enough to actually measure the reconnection electric field. 